I'm Mick and this is Sally. In our videos we hope to showcase what Australia has to offer. You can follow us on our adventures via the following social media platforms. If you like the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Swan Reach is a small country town located on the River Murray in South Australia and it's an easy two hour drive from Adelaide and uh, there's a number of options in the way that you can get there but uh, obviously we'll take one that's most suitable for a caravan and uh, within two hours yes we were soon there. Once most of the restrictions had started to get uh, lifted for the COVID um, that Australia was, or the world was having really, uh, places like this become very busy, very popular. And it was only last year that we pulled in here to spend a few nights and decided to keep going because it was fully booked out, or not booked out, but there was just campers everywhere. Very similar on this trip. and. Uh, we possibly got one of the uh, last um, camping spots that were available, but yeah, we managed to find a spot. How are we everyone? It's a, a gloomy Saturday afternoon here at Swan Reach. Uh, we're going to camp a couple of nights at the Tenbury Hunter Reserve and uh, overcast today but there's not much rain on the forecast so all being well it should be okay that wise. So yeah fairly crowded here which it normally is. We had a bit of a look here uh, last year we we're going to stop here but yeah too crowded and uh, we moved on but we nearly got the last uh, park today, but uh, never mind, we'll just enjoy it while we're here with a campfire. The camping location here uh, is a free camp, and uh, the facilities that are available um, are just a uh, dump point for your your waste in your caravan toilet and there is one flushing toilet that uh, campers do use. It's right on the banks of the Murray and uh, yeah all the camping uh, spots there's no such site as uh, marked out like most uh, caravan parks and so on but the camping spots are restricted to whatever you can get in around these big boulders so they have sort of marked the ground out in that way but uh, yeah plenty of room. On previous occasions when we've camped here, we've camped along the water's edge where you're looking now, these vehicles and vans parked up here. The only one problem there is when you uh, camp there, you haven't got much room for a fire if you've got your awning out. So I was quite pleased in one sense that we got in where we are. were here, we're back in behind the bushes. We could see the water and uh, we were protected from the wind. And uh, had we wanted to roll the awning out, there was certainly plenty of room there for the awning and a fire. While we were camped here at Swan Reach we were lucky enough to see the P.S. Murray Princess cruise by. Now this is the largest inland paddle steamer uh, that cruises the waters of anywhere within the southern hemisphere which is not bad for South Australia. The paddle steamer has 60 cabins available for its guests and it can cater up to 120 guests at a time.
During the golden hour of the late afternoon, the river cliffs can shine to be a very rich brown, red or even gold as they appear here at the moment and uh, it really makes for a lovely photograph. Amazing how a campfire can illuminate a tree of a night time. Start of another day, very calm water, lovely reflections, just a pity that we had the cloud cover that was hiding the sun. These fellas come wandering in in the morning looking for a free feed and uh, I guess they were just cleaning up the ground so certainly doing no harm. The campground here as you're looking at it, whilst it's a reasonable size I guess you would say it's not a, a huge camp area. I didn't count them up, but I'd suggest probably a comfortable 12 or 13 uh, camping spots here um, as we're going over with the drone. So it's understandable why with its popularity, it's so easy to get there to find out that there's no room for anyone else to set up camp. The campground itself is located on the Adelaide side of the river and uh, with a free ferry service it takes you across the river you've got Swan Reach on the other side and uh, Swan Reach itself well elevated above the water level so there would never be an issue with the town being flooded when the uh, river is at a high water level. Not really knowing what the weather was going to do, the cloud was still about and uh, the forecast certainly wasn't indicating a sunshiny day. I thought I'd take the opportunity to go across the ferry and have a look around the town of Swan Reach just to try and get a bit of filming done there to show you what the town had and uh, once you leave the camping area itself, turn left as we come out onto the road here and it was only about a kilometre down to the ferry so it was on the ferry and across to the other side.
some of these ferries can be quite steep to come off of and if you're towing a caravan that sits low to the ground yeah, you need to be mindful of the rear of the caravan not dragging on the ferry ramp as you start coming up like we are now. Swan Reach has one takeaway store and just pulling into the front of it now but there was a for sale sign there and uh, I didn't walk up to the takeaway store to have a look but there wasn't much movement there so I surmise it was shut until they find some new owners. The information bay here at the lookout at the top of the river and uh, you can get quite a good view looking down along the river once you're at this information bay. Being Sunday morning in a small country town, uh, there wasn't a lot of people around, which I guess is what one would expect out in the country. Swan Reach has its own caravan park and you can see it there to the right of the screen now. And I'm assuming the road in front of us there to the right is also the entry for the caravan park but we're going left here and uh, swinging around to the right which will take us down to the Len White Reserve. The reserve has a very large uh, lawned area in amongst these big old gum trees. Um, wouldn't like to guess how old they are but they're certainly, some of them are big size around the base of them. And uh, it's got barbecues, undercover sheltered barbecues I should say. And uh, a number of uh, seats, tables with overhead uh, shelters, certainly something you would need on a, a bright hot summer's day. I'm not sure but I'm assuming the water flow in the river must be slowing down because you can see the wood bark floating there in the water and uh, with the naked eye unless you're up in the sky with the drone you couldn't see that before so yes it makes me think that perhaps the uh, water flow is slowing down. We've now continued on the road further from the Len White Reserve and that takes you down along these shacks here and uh, there's one thing about the river that you don't get uh, when you camp by the ocean and that's the tide going in and out so this constant water level with the lawns here are uh, just terrific. Bit of a bird's eye view of the ferry crossing the river here as it leaves the Swan Reach side to head back to the Adelaide side of the river. As the ferry moves across the river, if you look at the front and the rear of the ferry itself, you'll see the cables that they use to pull the ferry across. And it's quite obvious as you watch here why water vessels have to wait for that ferry to dock on the bank of the river before they proceed to motor on down the river. Otherwise, they'll get their propellers hooked around those cables and it'll be a very sad story after that. I tried to get some shots of the hotel here at uh, Swan Reach. Didn't work out as good as what I'd hoped, but oh, Sally and I have had some great meals in this pub over the uh, previous years. 
and if you have a look there to the left, it's a bit hard for you to see it, but there's a green section there. They had a band playing and the new owners were celebrating their uh, first successful year in the business. With the live band playing at the pub, uh, we all sat around the bank of the river and uh, listened to their music and it was quite entertaining music. It wasn't head, head banging music, so yeah, very nice. The Murray River at its best, it doesn't get much better. We have another houseboat holiday arranged for the first week of July of this year, so not very far away now. And we'll be waking up every morning for a full week looking at views like this. During the later part of the afternoon on each day that we're here, we stoke the fire up. And that way it allowed us to enjoy a fire before the real cold night air came in and uh, watched the sun, it was setting in the west, but uh, once the cold air really come in at night, then we just ventured inside and uh, spent our evenings in there. But certainly nice to be sitting around a fire when you can see a sunset like this. It's always good to wake up alive every morning, but when you wake up alive and look at stuff like this, well, does it get any better? Uh, it's Monday morning and end of another trip. We were going to go home just after lunch today, but uh, SA Power Networks gave me a phone call this morning and uh, they want to get into the front yard and have access to the meter box so they can do some maintenance work. So we'll head off very shortly, but a bit of a shame because today's the nicest day out of all the days we've been up here. Not a cloud in the sky, no wind, absolutely beautiful by the river. But until the next one, you take care and look after yourself. If you like the video that you just watched, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button. And once you've done that, tap on the bell and change the notification to all. That way every time we do uploads to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified.